Okay, 10th Savoy. Okay. And uh, I think most people are familiar with uh, one through seven uh, because of uh, Morihiro uh, uh, Saito Sensei. Uh, they're well documented on the internet, I would expect. Um, there is a specific way of doing it in what was known as Iwama style, uh, which is now like a Takemusu Aikido. Um, and that's all good, you know, practice whatever uh, is recommended. And then just like any kata or form, you start to make it your own also. So tune it into your own body. So like technique, you uh, mimic uh, as best you can your instructors, uh, but then you make it your own. Okay. So um, I decided to document uh, the rest of Saboy that I thought would be worthwhile. That's why we have 20 Saboy. Uh, with uh, starting with the eight and nine, which were the uh, Shiho Nage uh, movements. Okay, so 10, 11, 12, and 13 are all the Kesa Giri uh, cutting movements. Okay, uh, Kesa being uh, an angle cut, it's named after the monk's robe that has a shoulder open, so it follows the line of the shoulder to the hip or from the hip to the shoulder. Okay, Kesa Giri. Okay. So, <clears throat> tenth subordi is almost as important as first subordi, I feel. Okay. Start my kamai, okay. and you can just relax your hands and elbows, okay. and then move forward and you cut at a 45 degree angle. This one can come all the way down, so it's 45 degrees from my center line and 45 degrees from the uh, horizontal of the uh, mat and just go right back again. What's nice is you start to use, just like in some of the other subordi, you start to use your hips with your left hand, your right hand, so the tip comes up right away, the kasaki comes up right away, okay? And it's relaxed. Okay, stopping at 45 degrees. If it goes any further, you start to throw yourself off balance. So you think in terms of being able to move forward. Okay. And it's a tense subordi, just basic cutting without moving the feet, relaxed, rocking back and forth, just like some of the other subordi, stationary cutting, the kirikeiko, and body stayed the same all the way through okay, without any excessive movement. Then if you have com uh, confined quarters, okay, you want to switch your feet, just bring the hand to the other side, switch your feet, and then you do the other side. Free shoulder, switch feet. back to the dojo, or you're outside, then you can do moving forward. Whichever shoulder is the open one. All with an attitude forward, okay? Especially when you're moving back, you do that practice, just like some of the other subordi. Even though you're moving back, attitude is forward, front knee is bent. Without collapsing back. Another way to practice this is to hold your own elbow. Okay. Other ways are to come up and over, come up and over, okay? but we won't cover that for tense subordinate. Okay. So once you have this basic idea of being able to step and go to your other shoulder, you can go anywhere. Okay, with the same cutting, just practicing different ashi sabaki and tai sabaki. Okay. Tenth sabodhi. Okay. 